Hello, good morning, and welcome to Hello, good morning, and welcome to this Dawn Busters Taste Challenge. This is a Shivas Brothers showdown. Get ready for this showdown. It'll be an epic showdown. Yesterday afternoon was an epic showdown. What's the temperature? Let's check the temperature. I've already had three chocolate flavored. Um, they, they actually were flavorful. My connection is unstable. Uh oh, not this again. Not this again. Come on, Google, get y'all's act together. This is 2021. This is not years ago. 2021. Does that mean 2021 as in a victory? 2021? <laughs> is that a double entendre? I know you're scared. I know you're getting nervous. All right. It's still dark. It's always darkest before dawn, but it's coming like Delta Dawn. You know, okay. Well, here we go. Yesterday was Shivas Mitsunara versus Johnny Walker Blue Label. Seemingly a profound mismatch, a, a joke. And I thought, well, I'm going to do it, but it's not going to be, it's not going to have any virtue, any worthwhile point, you understand? So I was doing the Johnny Walker Blue Label and the Shivas Mitsunari, and I was going through the talking about the price point, which was incredible, incredible disparity, $54 versus $250. But I got it for $229, but that's an unusually low price for Louisiana because the normal price is between $250 and $2.99. And I would never dream of paying $2.99. So anyway, and you can't even get it at Total Wine. They don't have it in stock. Johnny Walker Blue Label. Okay. <clouds> you can get it at Rouse's, but you'd be out of your mind to pay the price they want. <clears throat> so I said, it's going to be, a, as soon as I start smelling it, I said, uh oh, I'm saying this to myself. Yesterday, taste challenge afternoon. You saw it went on 40 minutes. I had so many comments, you see. Afternoon, people were getting bored watching the bowl games. And everything so uh lsu basketball was over they lost but very hard fought game down to the wire but anyway so losing the florida gators but lsu beat them in football and that's that's so i say ha ha now anyway i start smelling it and if you watch my face go back and watch you can see i'm thinking uh oh like i was getting nervous and i was trying to play it off like well you see um various situations and everything, and uh, I'll make a few little quick jokes and uh, throw people's attention off. It didn't work, of course. They could see right through that. So then I was thinking, mm -hmm. so what do I do? So then I start tasting it. And I'm thinking, 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 talking about dreams I've had and where I could tell where the neighborhood was positioned and which, what direction the street was on uh, position. I can do that, you know, and like in a dream, I could tell you the street was facing north and what the weather was like and the humidity level and all that. So in um, last night, dreaming about a hotel, I could tell you where the room was. It was very strange. But anyway, the whole purpose of that was misdirection to try to recoup time and think. But then I, so then I was sipping it and I was thinking, oh, okay, this is the Johnny Walker Blue. Close call. But I could see that it was because it didn't have the sharp grain alcohol edges that the Mitsunara does. Doesn't really have, it does not have in a general sense. If you put Shiva's Mitsunara against everybody, it's going to be smooth and have no rough edges. But against Johnny Walker Blue, it uh, it did have a, a, a rather hilarious bite. You know what I'm saying? In that relative sense. So that was how I was able to differentiate. So I was saying, okay, this is the, I know this is the Johnny Walker blue. I know this is the blue, but my whole point of that was, I said, it's not worth 200 extra dollars. It, do, it doesn't come, it, the, the taste was not justifying the price point, but then it never did. If you watch my original video for it, solo, I was saying, yeah, it's great. You know, and I gave it an A, 94. 
I said, but I could buy a $30 bottle of whiskey that will give me a 94. So why did I, you know, so if I pay $226 plus tax, it, it shouldn't be a 94. It should be 104. You understand? It should be above 100. It should be world class. World class in my booklet is any beer or whiskey or wine that scores above 100. It's like bonus points. It's better than it should be. And I have people tell me it can't be above 100. I say, that's bull. It can be above 100. What are you talking about? You never heard of overtime in sports? It's beyond regulation. It's bonus material. It's lanyap, the concept of lanyap in French, lanyap, extra. You order a dozen donuts, you get 13. So uh, this, this philosophy people have that you can't go above 100 is totally, totally a in opposition to all the thinking I have about these products. It goes against every bit of thinking I have. <clears throat> okay, that being said, beyond that, now that brings us to this. So Shivas Regal did very well yesterday. It lost, okay, it lost. But it shouldn't have been that close, you see. That's what I'm saying. It's like a football game. You say, well, they lost. You know? Kent State lost to Ohio State. And you say, yeah, but they lost by a field goal at the end. Kent State, it should have been over in the first quarter, not battling to the very end. That's telling me that Ohio State has internal problems. You know, I'm just saying in a theoretical, hypothetical sense, an imaginary game that I'm making up just to prove a point. So you see, that would be – so Shivas Regal should not have battled that strong. And I told David on mess text messages – I don't like texting much, but he – I'll say, he said, how'd the taste challenge go? I say, Johnny Walker blew one. And he was like, well, okay. I said, but it was very close. And then he was surprised. What? I said, Shivas battled hard. That was the comment, comma, hard. It battled hard. It was shocking. So uh, I was very pleased with that taste challenge because it was epic in a way. It was like, um, got a demo wrong, you know. Now, nah. This one won't be that way, I don't think. Now, here's 100 Pipers. Around the world, it's sold as Seagram's 100 Pipers. So if you live in uh, the Dominion of Canada or if you live in uh, the United Mexican States, you know, Mexico, you might say, no, it's called Seagram's. I see it. It's Seagram's 100 Pipers. It's got a different shape bottle. I know. I know this product. It's been on the market since 1965. Okay, yes. <coughs> I put a link below from Shivas Brothers. I'm looking at it right here. It says, uh, uh, well, it's called 100 Pipers. So it says right here, 100 Pipers. Or if you want to call it 100, or like I say with my southern accent, 100. You know, like it's spelled D-R-I-T, drit, you know. An idiosyncratic way of saying it. Some people have criticized about that. That, that would be denying reality that if people don't have accents. You know. Now, Hunter Pipers is the number one blended Scotch whiskey in India. That's their words. They know. They 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 know what the sales are. Number one blended Scotch whiskey in India is named after the Scottish tradition of bagpipers leading soldiers into battle, in particular from the Ballad of the Hundred Pipers, uh, which tells the story of Bonnie Prince Charlie the House of Stuart, leading 100 Pipers in the 1745 uprisings, when we know culminating in the Battle of Culloden, losing to the House of Hanover. All right. Created in 1965 by Shiva's brothers, master blender, Alan ba Baye Bailey. It looks like Bailey. It is Bailey in English, B-A-I-L-L-I-E, Bailey. But in French, it would be Alan Baye, Baye. It is a sweet, complex, and rounded blend with a fruity nose and delicate honey flavor. It's made using some of the best malts uh, in the Speyside region that have been matured, carefully selected, superior quality casks. And, you know, I'm skipping some words. The range includes 100 Pipers Deluxe, this, and the 12-year-old, which I have never seen. Now we got Shiva's Mitsunara Blended Scotch. Introduced four years ago, um, seven years ago, sorry, seven years ago, four years ago, I think for our market. The world's first Scotch whiskey selectively finished asterisk and Japanese Mitsunara oak cask. This is the important part of this sentence, the asterisk part, the qualifying statement. 
A portion of this blended Scotch whiskey has been finished in Japanese Mitsunara oak casks. I bet you this was not listed. I bet that was not on this website at the beginning. Something happened where there was some kind of threat or whatever about I'm being tricked. I found out it's only a sm small portion aged in Mitsunara and you made me buy it and I thought it was all aged in Mitsunara. A completely trivial situation, but in the United States, people use trivial things to claim damages. See, so Shiva's brothers say, oh, okay, we'll fix them. And they put this little qual this disclaimer. Shiva's Mitsunara is a perfect marriage of Scottish craft with Japanese tradition, creating a truly wonderful, uh, truly worldly blend, a wonderfully indulgent whiskey with a touch of spice because, now here's the, uh, this is a marketing statement and it's meant to antagonize and incite people. It's meant to antagonize and incite. And if it, it causes negative controversy, they don't care because that just causes attention. You see, it causes traffic, in other words. A touch of spice because blended is better in life and in scotch. Blended is better in life and in scotch. So that can be taken many ways. So it's meant to be taken many ways. So here's Chivas Brothers, Seagram's 100 Pipers. And I'll uh, get off of that. Uh, but it's bottled by Heaven Hill in the United States. So I don't know how Heaven Hill got the contract, but whatever. They ship it here to Kansas City Southern Railroad, to uh, Bardstown, Kentucky, where it is bottled, not blended or aged. That's done in Scotland. It's bottled by Heaven Hill. So apparently they're getting a piece of the action. And so therefore they don't use the Seagram's name because I mean, they're not going to call it Heaven Hill's 100 Pipers, you see. That wouldn't be allowed, but it's just 100% Scott with Scotch whiskey, 100 Pipers blended Scotch whiskey. And it goes on and on about, and they're very, very low profile, say Barstown, Kentucky, you know, you know, nothing to see here and move along. Then there's an essay on the back that I was telling you about the 100 Pipers long essay. Good morning, Jay, says Tommy Carroll. Good morning to you. Happy New Year, everybody. This is the first Sunday of 2021, and it's the 10th day of Christmas. This is the 10th day of Christmas. You should know there are 12 days of Christmas. Many people mistakenly believe that those are 12 days before Christmas. No, that's Advent. Sorry. Uh, so if you're doing that, you're backwards. It's 12 days. Christmas Day is day one. Then there's 12 days. Then on the 6th after Epiphany, uh, then you have the beginning of Carnival. Carnival, time of meat, meat time, preceding Lent time of no meat. But anyway, it's all Catholic. BC's Beer Reviews. Good morning, Ron. Good morning to you, BC. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. All right. So the Mitsunara, there you go. There's your story. Here's an important point. Perhaps the most important point. You'll pay $8.99 for this. I can tell you what store right now, $8.99 every day, all day. International Market, Barron Street, Metairie, Louisiana. Or you can go to Mathern's right here, pay a dollar more, $9.99. I mean, it depends where you live. If you live, you're not going to drive 20 miles to save a dollar. If you happen to be in town doing other shopping, of course, you stop, you get you, save your dollar. Okay, uh, but I bought this right here at Mathern's. If I saw the 12-year and it was a reasonable price, I would buy it immediately, immediately, without any hesitation, because I know I'm never going to see it. The 12 year age Seagram's uh, 100 Pipers. <clears throat> this is common in the United States. This is a common scotch. You will see it at bar rooms. Maybe it's a well. Oh, I've seen it. Okay. My friend David said, I know about that. He didn't have any positive regard for it particularly, but he knew about it. I bought him a bottle, half size bottle, and he was pleased with it more than he had, had imagined he would be. Now, last year, I found a bottle of this, 750 milliliters for $3.98, $3.98. Obviously, I bought it. I didn't need it. But who in, in their life would pass that up if they taste whiskey? No one. That's who. $3.98, Discount Depot, United States Highway 90, Business Route Westbound. Incredible, unbelievable, and true. Drewski Brewski says, time to get, yeah, well, no, that's not me. You're thinking of somebody else. I do tastings, okay? 
I'm not a whiskey drinker anyway. I taste it, but I don't drink it. People will say, well, like when you get off of work, what whiskey do you drink? My answer is nothing. I drink water or beer. I like to taste these, see what they taste like, but to, to say I drank whiskey, I never, ever do that. Now, if I'm at my friend David's house or we're at the hot rod shop, he might say, you want to try this product, Macallan 12 or whatever. Well, yeah, I'll try it because I'm tasting it. I'm curious. But if you said, well, you want to drink some Jim Bean and Coke or water, I would say, no, I'll just drink water. Hey, Ron, I'm up drinking a Erdinger Weiss beer. Jammer fan. Oh, um, well, um, that's a good product. I don't like wheat beers, uh, actually, but that's a good one. <clears throat> if I was looking to drink a wheat beer, and I never would be looking to do that, that would be one of the picks. Okay, so on with the tasting. Take the uh, metal foil cap off. Plastic cap. Very nice. <laughs> C for Shivas. You say, well, that's Shivas. Yeah, but it it's the competitor. So I got C for Shivers. Only had one other Shivers product. Uh, two other Shivers, Regal and this. All right. So far, uh, I still need to get Passport. I know where to get Passport. I need to get uh, Ballantines. know where to get that. Well, <laughs> I could spend this. Ch this channel could be dedicated only to Shivers Regal products, uh, Shivers Brothers products only exclusively. And I would never run out of material ever, ever run out. That's that's a fact. That is a fact. It'd be like Anheuser Busch. You could dedicate your channel only to their products, and you would never run out of material ever. It would be an impossibility. And I don't think you'd get bored. I don't think you'd run out of flavors because they make so much, and it rotates so much, and it's innovative. It's so innovative, it's always changing and bringing in new things, whether they copied from someone else or didn't, more than likely they did, but you don't run out. Okay. Oh, good. <laughs> One of those rare times where I got I, I poured it evenly. So this is aged three years. It's basic. Three years is the minimum for scotch. So, all right, been on the market 56 years. It's aged three years. It's cheap, Whatever, however you want to look at that. For good or ill, that's the case that they gave me. This is dark, uh, perhaps unusually dark, maybe unnaturally dark. Maybe it's colored with caramel. This I do not know. I cannot prove it, and I don't even care because it doesn't affect the flavor. It's a neutral tasting object. It's designed as a coloring, not a flavoring agent. You could buy flavoring caramel. This is distiller's caramel coloring food product. Now, if it uses that, no age statements. I don't know how old it is. I doubt it's 12 because they would say it. It's a blend. It could be 24 year age scotch, 12 year age scotch, could be some three year age scotch. I would suspect that the Mitsunara age is the youngest because that's very expensive oak. I don't know if they own their own Mitsunara barrels, but they might rent them out. And they were saying on the website, they're $5,000 a barrel. They said a typical whiskey barrel is $150. You know, wholesale, they buy it. They said the Mitsunara is very expensive, 5000 bucks. You say, well, that's a gimmick. Of course, it's a gimmick. But we like gimmicks on this channel. Gimmicks are fun. They're meant to make you spend money on stuff you don't need. That is the whole purpose of a gimmick. It's meant to be fun. It's meant to be frivolous. It's meant to separate you from your money. All right? That's not a problem unless you don't have money. Then it's a problem. So why are you entertaining gimmicks if you're broke? You know, you should be trying to pay off your debts. Then you can make a debt-free scream then you can move along in ahead and forward. Okay, got to close my eyes because there is a disparity on the color. <clears throat> Not much, but there is. <clears throat> now, when I was sneezing and uh, 
uh, blowing my nose. Well, I'm always blowing my nose because the humidity in Louisiana is so bad. You always got that. But um, and when I was coughing, you know, more, you know, <laughs> you know, and um, couldn't taste or smell anything. I thought uh, beer is going to help me. And so will one. And it did. Mm -mm. It was so helpful, helpful, helpful. And I felt better. I didn't feel or ever feel bad, actually, except for one day, Tuesday, the 22nd. But um, now the whiskey, I could smell it and taste it and it's so healthy. I'm not a doctor. I don't claim to be one. I play one on TV. But um, I, I just feel by intuition that it's a healthy thing to be to be tasting. Okay. And I have to remember, honey topped white bread crust, that's the shivas. That's my guy post. I'm not Norman Vincent Peale. I don't necessarily believe in the power of positive thinking, but I'm not, not I'm not a metaphysical person. Nor am I a Freemason like Norman Vincent Peale was. All right. And Dave Thomas of Wendy's. Keeping those hamburgers on the square. Okay. Thought you had me fooled. All right. And like John Lennon said, here's another clue for you all. Her name was not Wendy. And here's another place you can go. Oh. You might be watching and saying, this is like the secret doctrine. It's not about whiskey. It's about something else. I never explicitly said that. <clears throat> Nor would I be at liberty to say it if it in fact was the truth, sir. But you are feeling fit. You're ready for duty. Sir, yes, sir. Now, when I smelled the Johnny Walker blue, blue label yesterday afternoon, the first thing I said was endeavor to persevere. Now, that told me right there, endeavor to persevere. Then I knew it was Johnny Walker blue label. Because none of the other ones you smell will, will, will evoke that thought in your mind that you're going to endeavor to persevere. So there was the clue, the, there was the uh, curse of the hidden mirror, so to speak. Like Grace Slick said in the 1975 Jefferson Starship album, Red Octopus, she said, hold a dollar bill up to the mirror and I'm gonna sh I'll show you something funny. Now, I didn't make that lyric, she said that, hold a dollar bill up to the mirror and I'll show you something funny. All right. On aroma here, it's very close and it's indiscernible. Very important point, indiscernible aroma, and we're talking about $54 versus $8.99. I think this is something that needs to be thought about, talked about, brought out, exposed, discussed, hashed out, and commiserated about, if one is, has sorrows. Okay, taste. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to say this to you. It's like candy. It tastes like candy. Whiskey is good for the blood in small quantities. Yes. And that's why my blood is good. What's up, says Mackerel. Uh, just admit you're drunk. It feels good, says Drewski Brewski. Yeah, well. You can do what you want because you have to do what you want because 
aside from the internet, I don't know you. I don't know who you are and I don't know what you do. Well, I kind of know what you do. You know what I mean? All right. So this is a candy. <clears throat> it's a caramel candy. It does not taste like honey top white bread. It's very pleasant. I'm not picking up any smoke, but that could be because of recovery. But let's go over here. Cheers to your, your morning time. There was no bite in the swishing and in, 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 in the gargling. Now, the aftertaste. <clears throat> there is a bite, a grain alcohol bite. It does have a darker taste. And I said this before, the Shivas Mitsunar has a darker taste. Makes no logical sense, but it makes a tasting sense. And there is a sort of a honey-topped white bread crust. Now, does the Shivas Mitsunar taste better than the 100 Pipers? Mm -hmm. yeah. Let, okay. That's a basic flavor, basic, sort of like a Corolla CE, custom edition, you know, basic model. But boy, it'll never break, you know. You say, well, what is that, an AMC Eagle? Yeah, 1987, last model year, before the buyout. During the buyout, uh, but uh, but before, because 86, when it hit the market, you know, early, uh, September 86. Um, okay, let's say for the sake of argument that the Mitsunara tastes better. I would go along with that. I would not argue that point. Hey, Jay, this is Michael Tesh. Hey, hey to you. Thanks for watching. Uh, so... In a pure ch challenge sense, the Mitsunara is a little bit better. It is more depth of flavor, more elaborate, elaborate flavor. But now let's consider price. Am I going to pay $54 as opposed to $8.99, $9 to get a flavor that's marginally better? Certainly not appreciably better. The answer is obvious. I don't have to answer an obvious question. So then it becomes a situation of things winning by default. And I can use many analogies to uh, relate that, but we're out of time. So uh, I think that when we don't consider price, the Mitsunaro wins. However, most people, including myself, have to consider price. <clears throat> not to mention that they're both being sold. They're not giving it away. So it, that is a valid thing to consider. I've had people tell me, it's never valid to consider price. And I say, why would you make that statement? Would you, do, do you have some kind of special legal rule book that I need to read? Because uh, you're making a very definitive statement, and I don't think you're correct. Uh, it's like how to pour beer, you know, you get people that get caught up in extraordinary controversies, as they say in the British Empire, about how to pour beer. It's like a man that's been shot with an arrow, and the first thing he asks is, what type of metal is that tip made from, and uh, what is the quality of the wood? Questions that are not germane to the situation, in fact not important. Okay, Hunter Pipers does not win in a technical sense, but it wins in a practical sense. The practicality being it's $8.99. <laughs> What's a good chocolate beer? Um, Samuel Smith's chocolate stout. If you can't taste the difference, why pay the difference? This is a very important question. In the beer, wine, and whiskey review world, it is a question that is not to be asked. 
you can get banned from almost any group you're in and be shunned from the cool people asking a question like that. Which meet, which tells us that the question is very important and the question is very valid because if the question had no meaning, it would have no, people would pay no mind to it, you see. So you asked a very important question and if you ask that question in a, in a social media group and you get expelled, then you know the question was absolutely valid. You see, that might indicate that you are correct. Being part of the gang might indicate that you are not correct. You gotta think, thinking, thinking is very important in this world and the next. Okay, Hunter Pipers, if it says C, I'm wrong and that'll be even a greater calamity. Says Shivas Brothers. I could say uh, I'm getting over being ill, it would be an invalid thing. No, I think the answer here is that the Hunter Pipers is that great of a product. I thought it was the one was the other. And I'm saying this one has superior flavor, depth of flavor, creative flavor, battle and flavor. It's the Hunter Pipers. I got it wrong. Now I have two wrong so far. It was bound to happen, but I kept thinking, I'm going to get 100% right. I'm never going to lose. I don't know why I thought that. I just thought, I always think everybody's, you know, I always think, my teams are going to win every game. You know, at the beginning of the season, I say, the Saints are going to go undefeated. You say, well, no sensible person would think that. I just think it. I know it's crazy. All right, I'm going to turn on the news. Thank you for watching this. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe this. I'm drinking to that. Thanks, everybody. Hey, Maxwell, I'm out.